Welcome to another quick tutorial on how to make your own custom pet, such as the interior crocodile alligator. So when you drop it, it will come up like this, and then you can dismiss it again, and that's that. So basically an example that you'll have on Extinction V2 is this Hellcat. If you drop it, then it will spawn the Unicow. So that's what I'm going to teach you how to do today. So to start off with, go into your Extinction Source folder, and then go Source, Com, RS, then Init then decoders, handlers, and an inventory options handler. And then when you in this file, scroll to the very bottom, and you should see item pets and NPC pets. Now you notice this is a massive long list of items and NPCs. That's basically what it is. The top one is the item, and the bottom one is the NPC. So for this item, which is 7585, if you go item 7585, you get the Hellcat. And if you drop it, oops, let's scroll back to here. If you drop it, then it will spawn NPC 5603. So if you go to NPC 5603, it's the Unicow. Alright, so then go minus one to go back. So basically, how to add your own pet is after the last ID on each list, add a comma. This separates the different IDs out. Um, and then go to Rune Locust or whatever thing you want and search for, say, Crocodile, which I've already done, but I'll already do it. And when you're there, say, hmm, I quite like this ID. So you grab 6779, go in game, and do 2 NPC 6779, just to make sure that's the right NPC you want. And then when you're like, hmm, yeah, I like that NPC, I want that as a pet. Go into back into Inventory Options Handler, check again which one is which, so the item is on the top and the NPC is on the bottom. So therefore, after the comma on the bottom line, you want to add the ID that you just got off Rune Lucas. So this example is 6779, which is the crocodile. And then say you're like, hmm, what item should I use? Maybe a hunter's talisman? So go to Rune Locust item ID list, search for hunter again, get the ID, but you can use whatever item and whatever NPC you want. This is just how to make an interior crocodile alligator. And grab that ID and go in game and go item then that ID and you're like yeah that's a good item I think I'll use that and then so go back to your inventory options handler after the comma on the top this time paste in that ID and so now this is it and it's 3696 for the item and then 6779 for the NPC alright now to rename an NPC go back into your extinction source folder then go source com rs game NPC not NPC2 and then open npc.java. Now there should already be one renamed, so if you want to go control F and search for Poenizer, you'll find this, which is basically the list of all the renames. And then the easy way to do it is to just copy and paste, even though people don't like copying and paste. So grab that, copy and paste it in, and then go if ID equals, and check which NPC ID we're using. So this one is 6779. Paste that in. And then in between these two quotes, make sure you leave the quotes where it says set name. Just put in whatever name you want. So interior, crocodile, alligator, and voila. And then compile. And when you're in game, you can get the item that you set the NPC to, drop it, and voila, there's your custom pet. So, yeah. Interior crocodile alligator. I drive a Chevrolet movie theater. Interior crocodile alligator. I drive a Chevrolet movie theater. Interior.